New reports showing a shocking increase in the number of vaping illnesses. This as health officials continue looking to see what's making people sick. Fox News correspondent Aisha Husney has more on when a ban on flavored tobacco could take effect. Vaping illnesses across the country are skyrocketing. New data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention revealing more than 2,000 people are now suffering. Every single state but Alaska is reporting illnesses as the death toll climbs to 40 across 24 states. Health authorities are not blaming specific products for the epidemic, but the CDC says an alarming number of people are vaping THC. Meanwhile, the Journal of the American Medical Association publishing two major studies this week. Researchers found more than half of the teens who vape say they use Juul and claim the mint flavor is their favorite. The electronic cigarette company issuing a statement acknowledging underage use, saying in part, quote, these results are unacceptable, and that is why we must reset the vapor category in the U.S. and earn the trust of society. Juul taking additional action Thursday, saying it will stop selling its mint flavor cartridges. This decision coming on the back of the Trump administration's previous warning of a potential crackdown on flavored e-cigarettes. We are looking at vaping very strongly. It's very dangerous. Uh, children have died. People have died. We're going to have some very strong rules, regulations. A federal ban on flavored e-cigarettes is now expected to happen in a matter of days. Juul officials say they will cooperate with the proposed regulations. I'm Aisha Husney, Fox News. Last month, Alabama saw its first vaping death. To date, 19 people may have vaping-related lung damage.